What is going on, everybody? Last episode, we had prepped the squid room and the hallways for painting and muralization. We also hung a bunch of cork walls, and that was interesting and scary and beautiful, and it was really nice in the end to have it be what it was. Um, we're gonna go ahead and take a few things off of the flow chart at this point, uh, because some of the things were unnecessary. Some of the things I had to change a bit because while doing the projects, you realize that's not what you want. You want something slightly different. And some things we just actually do not have time for, and I can tell right now, we're not gonna have enough time to do certain things. So we'll take those off real quick too. Before I hang the Manfrotto paper dispenser for Yvonne's art paper, I'm going to knock out some of this painting. Uh, mostly I need to buy some time to really figure out how I'm going to hang this contraption, this paper solution. Um, it's not a big deal, but kind of formulating a plan beforehand is a good idea. So I'm going to go ahead and paint this cork black real fast. And I'm going to go ahead and repaint this black wall black again. Uh, Yvonne wants the border down here painted black as well, so we'll go ahead and do that. It, just a side note, how strange is it that like a 70-some-year-old woman wants everything painted black? She, like, she even wanted me to paint this big cork wall black too. She's like, it would look awesome. I digress. I'm reinstalling this pull-up bar that had broken like a year and a half ago. In the squid room, we're gonna go ahead and paint the walls white and the floor black. Okay, we are painting this room, finally. It has always looked so terrible in the background, even though I put like decorations and lights and different scenes. Uh, it ends up looking pretty rough, but now we're gonna have a nice clean room, clean walls, clean everything, which would be awesome. has two layers on it and I can still see where the wain skirting was and my cut-in lines. So I got another gallon of the same paint and a thicker roll. Alright, I got a beautiful white on the walls and in the closet and everywhere in here. Uh, the cut-in lines are finally disappeared as well as where the wing skirting was. Well, looks like Yvonne's working away in here.
I have a few more things to do in this room, so we will come back to it in the next episode when I wrap it up. But in the interim, I do believe I have a plan to hang the paper solution in the art room. Once again is 66 inches and I'm going to give it one extra inch on both sides bringing the total to 68 inches so I need to mount the center of the brackets at 68 inches Now that we've got the first pole up there and tested and it works great, uh, we can assemble and cut the next two poles, put them up there and we can be done with this project. Oh my God, I am so glad that worked. Now she can re-roll her paper the opposite direction on those aluminum rolls and be able to roll out and cut paper anytime she wants way faster, way easier. Um, speaking of Yvonne's artwork, I'm gonna step in and help her finish up the ribbon section of the mural. <laughs> have it guys another eight days in the bag if you want to see the rest of this mural work you can check it out over at why paint and pastels we have one week left till we are out of time so be here to conclude this whirlwind of renovation what will we do in the squid room or the hallway murals or hanging the skateboards okay there's a lot to do but we're gonna give it a shot <laughs> <laughs> 